out there that's been corroborated. Eyewitness testimony from naval intelligence officers that were Democrats and partners that are just saying, you know what, I can't sit by. You see the media desperately doing whatever they can to hide that information. I mean, think about it. The media, social media, big tech are actively trying to suppress evidence that could mean that the person that would be the leader of our country and the free world is compromised by China. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, I didn't realize I didn't pronounce it, but you know, <laughs> it's kind of like huge with a capital Y. Bigly. <laughs> Bye. 
showed up with that miraculously. Usually out of the trunk of a car with out of state planes of, you know, 7,001 ballots show up. And it's incredible, they're all for Democrats. It's amazing. And everyone's supposed to go, oh, that's totally legitimate. It's totally fine, totally acceptable. What could go wrong? <laughs> this stuff is happening before our eyes on a daily basis. I mean, think about it. What do you think the story would be if, I don't know, that was Donald Trump Jr.'s heart drive? Oh, 
folks is investigating me and my family on the Bidens, they wouldn't be fielding the most compromised candidate in the history of the U.S. presidency. <laughs> This guy could be compromised by every regime, corrupt regime in the world. I mean, think about it. Like, you know, it's not like, you ever notice that Hunter wasn't doing business with, like, England? <laughs> it's not like, hey, he's got a lot of deals going in France. It's like, if you look up the list of the most corrupt regimes in the world, it's like, that's my guy. <laughs> China's spy chief. Oh. Do you think that's because that guy thinks Hunter's a good lawyer, or do you think it's because maybe that guy wants to get close to Hunter to get more of the obvious compromising information to utilize against them? Yeah. We kind of know. We kind of know, but you'll never hear that. He's a lawyer. Again, think of how insane this is. It's happening in America right now. Our press and big tech is actively looking to suppress it. To ensure a candidate that's done nothing for 47 years. Now I ask, when you talk to people on the fence, ask them to name a single Joe Biden problem. <laughs> You'll be waiting a long time, 47 years, because there's none. <laughs> Wear a mask, you can't go out, you can't open your business. 
Yeah. Right. But she can. She can. And then she can get a haircut. But that's not right. No, no, no. But I hate it. All she had to do was say, you know what? That was a little hypocritical. You're right. That's wrong. That's not what she did. I was. Well, the response that she gave, I was like, I, do. I did not know whether to be upset or impressed. Because it took a serious set of balls to say that you were set up by your hair salon. <laughs> You know, you're, you're the head of the first grade, you know, class field trip. You're third in line for the nuclear codes. Like, that does not instill faith in our government if the person that's third in line for the nuclear codes was able to be set up by her hair salon. <laughs>
this for so long. Even organizations that are sheer, clearly know that the World Health Organization, hey, the bad lockdowns don't work. But Joe Biden will do whatever it takes to create fear in the American people. They don't look at the actual numbers and statistics. They just say, I saw everything. If there's one case in Nevada, we'll lock down the state forever. No, but that's their mentality. Because guess what? If you lose your job, if you lose your business, if you lose your business, we got a government program for you. You'll be a Democrat vote for life. We can't have that, guys. We can't have that. We've discussed the economy. What about, what about everything going on on the global scale? I mean, we're pulling out of the endless wars. Yeah. <laughs> Imbalance of the playing field. 
what we are up against with big tech, with social, with mainstream media, doing whatever they can to suppress the truth about the Biden and the corruption, and that they're compromised, and the incompetence, and the trade deals that send your American dream abroad for decades. You'll never hear about those things, so that's why we need you guys. My father didn't need this job. He didn't have to do it, but he wanted to do it because he was sick of watching the incompetence. He wanted to do it because America is worth fighting for. Mm -hmm. Come on, 